Hey everybody, Jay Barino here. Welcome back. We're playing Matthias Chronicles, The Pursuit, a custom campaign for Warcraft 3, and we have unlocked the secret level last time by destroying the undead base as an optional objective. So we're heading to Stonehammer Ice Axe. Sounds dwarfish. At this, as the city of Renwick burns behind him, Matthias marches southward. To the north, the elven kingdom of Quathalos is, blighted, is a blighted ruin, and Arthas and Kalthazad, its dark lords. After a long march, Malcolm Stonehammer and his troops reach the mountain fort of Dun Idin in the peaks of Cosmodon. The orcs are encamped in the lowlands, but have made no effort to cross the Otira Pass in, into Azeroth. Only the dwarves of Dun Idin stand between Warchief Malachi and Freedom. So, Cameron Laddie, are the orcs still encamped to the north? Aye, they're still fixed in place. They've built too many watchtowers for my liking. Anything else to report? The orcish encampment is to the west of Dougal's lab, but I'm fairly sure that bastard can take care of himself. After all, the man did invent the steam tank. We should enlist him to our cause. Plus, there's a breeding pair of blue dragons to our east, but we've no time to go after them. Watch your mouth. Wash your mouth out, boy. There's always time for dragon slaying. If the orcs are going to try to cross the pass, they will need to do it soon. The terrain in the pass is unforgiving. The snowfall we've we've had will make the march more treacherous. It'll be slow going for them. I see that treasure. Aye, it's difficult ground to attack and easy ground to defend. What I can understand is why, what I cannot understand is why they've left it undefended. If they had any strength left, they should be going at us hammer and tongs. There's no way through this land. Unless, of course, they're not able to. Oh, okay. Interesting transition. Mortar team. Uh, let's just go ahead and make a bunch of peasants for lumber, as is typical. So we're just strictly dwarves this time. Okay, I can make the... Oh, steam personnel carrier. Maybe you need that in order to traverse the the terrain. That would be interesting. Elite steam tank is great. Let's go long rifle straight away. We already have a castle, which is very nice. So I do have access to our Griffin Rider hero that we had last time, which is cool. And then Malcolm, who Holy Light seems like the smart choice. Can I make normal towers, or am I stuck with cannon towers? Do you think? Okay, so I can use him. I mean, he's level. He's level eight, so we can we can fly around with him and check. All right. So there's the there's those are the dragons. Dougal the Mad is is listed as a main objective. See, like getting over here, for example. Like, what would happen if I wanted to attack over here with my hero? Okay, he could just he could just move down this way. To say, are they just gonna? Of course, they're just gonna try to move out of it. Okay, that's that's enough. You're not hitting anything anymore. Okay, so all Father's Light, High Father's Divine Edict, rather, is sort of like my semi Stormbolt equivalent. Okay, let's just get rid of what we can. Okay, so this is looking good. We started with a blacksmith. I'm gonna get these. Well, we don't have archers, right? No, we only have riflemen, so I don't need that. Uh, let's go ahead and grab evasion, because I think riflemen... Well, the human riflemen get evasion. I wonder if that's going to be... I wonder if... I, I doubt that's going to apply to them in retrospect. Okay, and again, let's just clear out as much of this as possible. High Father's Edict. Kablam. Does that do AoE? I don't think so. Just go ahead and avatar. Because why not? Uh, honestly, it seems like air units would be the better the better option throughout all of this. Let's just get a bunch of riflemen, because we're going to need them to kill the dragons. I'm also supply blocked currently, because I've made so many workers. Okay, so we'll get those queued up. Research is plugging away. So it's, we started with plus one everything, which is nice. So let's go ahead and go straight to plus two. What's happening? Totem of mana. Intelligence by three, mana by seventy-five. I, I mean, I think that would be better for Let's Malcolm. 
It's hammer time. Again, let's just keep scouting with our heroes. I'm confident that we'll be able That's to push back like orc it. attacks as they hit us, as long as we get some let's riflemen. And I That's wonder if, like if we have a priest let's equivalent again, because we are strictly That's the dwarves, like it. it seems like. Let's get it on. Wendigos sometimes... Wendigos are sometimes able to attack... Or, uh, never mind, not attack. Um, I was going to say attack air. That is not the case. Um, what I'm thinking of is they sometimes can uh, resurrect like the elder Wendigos can, for example. Again, getting rid of all this stuff now is probably for the best. We're getting... Probably want to grab animal war training and storm hammers as soon as possible as well. I'm going to go lumber harvesting, and then we'll go um, get level 2 everything. Very nice. Again, I'll just keep, keep looking. I'm not sure if this is an effect of how the, the terrain is structured, but it's it's sort of like... Uh, it's interesting because it's, it's sort of like my... Camera is like a little more zoomed out. It's hard. It's hard to kind of explain. But doesn't it seem like everything's just a little bit smaller? Let's do this. Yeah, I'm not, I thought I might be hitting him. He might be hitting himself. I know that works. Get him with the All Father's Light, dude. There you go. Now we go for this guy. We have not been getting attacked. And again, I'm just gonna keep making riflemen. We're gonna keep leveling them up. Our lumber's coming in. Let's go storm hammers, and then we'll get animal war training soon. Necklace of Vitality What's certainly happening? seems good for Malcolm. Do you have anything that's agility on him? I don't see why I would. Strength, strength. Gives a fire attack. This isn't... If it's, if it's not strength, we can like give it to Malcolm. So let's, let's go Necklace of Vitality. Let's actually drop this real quick. Cycle this stuff out. Activity. We could sell a lot of these consumables it's on our flyer. You can count on me. Neither of them have an. Neither of them have a. I, actually, I don't think we can build shops. Yeah, no shops are available. We want to get a church just because then we want to just get some clerics so that we can sustain our army as we move in and out. Research complete. What? All right, let's uh, let's get back to farm building. Again, I'm trying to just build up and get all my upgrades done so that we can move out with a very large force and finish this up. While we we can creep around with our heroes, which is. Fine. And again, it seems like they're not sending anything out to attack me. I wonder which of these... I think this is going to be the um, the lab that we're looking for. Because they said that he was... Did they say he was to the east or to the west? I think now I'm just completely messed up on, on that. And let's not hit our buddy. We're not getting XP for any of this, but we are getting gold. Which is good enough for me. Just start using these. Increases mana. Got a lot of mana related items. Again, if we could find a shop, I would sell a lot of the garbage that I'm holding. Again, I think the orcs are the orcs are not supposed to be uh, aggressive. They're supposed to be trying to avoid us as far as I can tell. Just pick some of these and, and start taking them out. Okay, just keep do just keep doing that, buddy. And then we can get this guy healed up. Okay, we have we have dwarven clerics. That's cool. Just get a couple of those. We're in low upkeep. We are we are we are stuck. It's it's a hundred food this time. So that's not been changed. Kill the ancient one. We could make gyrocopters, I suppose, to kill the to kill the dragons. I'm not sure if that makes the most sense or not. Here, let's get some skeletons to help us. Are they, are they, were they healing themselves? What was that? Didn't it look like the, our, our skeletons had like a vampiric? Do we have something that's giving vampiric aura? I don't think so. Oh, yeah. Battle rejuvenation aura. Got it. it he doesn't actually have an attack. Like, we, you don't see the storm hammer fly through the air. Anyway, um... Let's just keep getting our basic upgrades here. We're going to get some clerics. Where's my blacksmith? I'm going to upgrade our riflemen and then just make a few more of them and then go hunting for the, the black dragons. What's this right here? Claws of greater strength. I think we have. No, those are gauntlets of worgen strength. Okay, just straight attack. Basically, looks like claws plus 15, so that's pretty good. Let's get it on. Again, let's just keep scouting around outside our base, and then we will just steadily make a large army over time. 
I just need more workers on lumber. I can I mean I can get another lumber yard. Okay, no slow for a human, aren't you? Okay, just some wolves. We can we can take care of these. Or not? Does he have no actual attack? What's happening here? Is it maybe because he's holding something that's breaking his ability to attack? It could be the Searing Dagger. I bet it's the Searing Dagger. Let's give him something else. Um, I mean, a lot of this I need to keep. Spell damage reduction. Here, take the Knight Sword. That's fine. And we'll take the Searing Dagger. Split this stuff up. So I can just drop some of this garbage. Hammer time! Can you attack now? Yes. Okay. Good. It's all right. We figured it out. No. 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 Give that to our. Give that to to Malcolm. Okay. So that's this whole area. Now let's check. I don't think there's a way for us to get up there. Oh yeah. Now we could just walk. All right. Cool. Let's do this. And again, with no pressure on us, we can just sort of casually work our way out to the, the dragons next. So let's take all of our... Oh, look at these clerics. They've got little coats. All right, so let's take all of our riflemen and our clerics, hotkey them separately, have them follow Malcolm, and then let's make our way out to the dragons. Let's see if they can figure out how to get there. And again, the orcs are not bothering us, so I'm not really in a rush to necessarily work my way out towards them. I have not found another gold mine. I'm ready and waiting. Alright, that's a perfect spot, I think, to use this ability. What is that called? Reign of Dwarven Cannons. Okay, stop it. Stop killing my own guys. Lightning Sword adds lightning bonus damage. Is it better than the fire? And again, it might break. Orb effects may break Cameron just straight up. Yeah, so he can't attack at all. It's, it's literally an orb of lightning, which is good, but I think that the, the fire attack that we have that's adding... Yeah, the Searing Dagger, because it gives you an extra 10 damage and, and armor. Okay, it looks like we're near where we need to be to kill the dragons. Here they are. Can he attack air with his orb? I don't think so. Cameron can, though, right? Okay, it looks like... Well, there are two dragons here. I presume these are both of the dragons that we're looking to kill. I don't really even need to pay attention to this, because I think it's going to go fine. Mastery training, and again, just lumber, man. Lumber is going to be a per perpetual issue. I'd love to just finish upgrading my rifleman. We do need some frontline support, but the dwarves don't really have much frontline support, so we have to be a little careful. What are they... Oh, they're attacking... Um, they're attacking Cameron, which is fine, because I can heal him. Okay, that's done. Pot of Restoration is not really what I was hoping for for that. Pot of Restoration and a Pendant of Mana. We already have, we're holding a Pendant of Mana. Uh, the Sobi Mask I don't want. Uh, just because his mana regeneration is so poor that the Pendant, that the Sobi Mask uh, extra that we're getting for it is really just not uh, adding much, right? It's based off of your, your base mana regeneration, which is, if it's poor, then the Sobi Mask's, um, addition to that is just gonna be bad as well. Alright, maybe, oh, there's a little piano down there. How cute. Let's try to be a little more diligent on this map and actually look for everything, look around. Yeah, let's just have, let's have, let's follow Malcolm. And have him lead the way, and then I'm gonna continue at base to just Research keep upgrading complete. everything. Research complete. We're going to need some more... Probably just... Let's get all of these upgrades here. Is of course. But eventually, I think what I'm going to be focusing on is getting a lot of... What's happening? Wait, are we getting pinged for something else? Let's get moving. Is someone... Did I just see something that didn't actually happen? <laughs> I thought I saw a blue ping in the middle. Yeah, it is. It is pinging us. I guess we'll check over there. What's Maybe just a little broken because of uh, the... Uh, because we finished the the optional, I guess we'll head back over in that in that direction and look. It feels like even with plus three, when these riflemen leave a lot to be desired with damage. Yeah, enemies not attacking really makes this. Let's send Cameron over here to just check this real quick, and we can we can also just scout this little area that we have an un 
uh, we haven't revealed. All right, so Malcolm, let's run you over here. Is my aid required? Right away. If he can get down there, he'll figure it out. More Wendigos up there. Yeah, the terrain of this one is very, very odd. Our forces are under attack. To the skies! Yeah, it's just there's there's nothing there. That's all right. What's happening? Okay, so let's just uh, let's get up here and attack the trolls again. I'm just gonna keep working my way through. Weren't there some Wendigos as well somewhere? I'm not. I mean, a lot of the stuff that's that's dropping is not really that important. The ability to summon just a shit ton of water elementals is really is really cool. Let's just add our griffins to this group. Hammer of Thrawn. Boost strength by one, lightning bonus, and devotion aura. The question is again, if it, hopefully this won't break his his attack. Let's try. It does, because it's an orb effect. How much bonus damage? Oh, and I can't drop it. Ah That's alright. I imagine we're not gonna be using these heroes after this mission anyway, so uh, let's just finish it and we'll we'll go from there. All right, let's get the last bonuses here. More lumber is required. Still more lumber needed. I'm coming through. Let's get moving. Is someone injured? I mean, you wouldn't expect to just not be able to use some of the stuff you're picking up. Ah. <laughs> Poor Greyforge. Well, we'll just make sure to use uh, Dwarven Cannons. I mean, he is still giving Research. Devotion Aura at the very least, which is not great, but it's something. Why do these guys have... Oh. Cloud. You can get Cloud on these. Well, you can't because it's not researchable. But I was going to say, why do they have mana? Uh, okay, let's just keep moving up in this direction. Are we still following him properly? We're gonna just want to get a more mortar teams. I'm sort of leapfrogging who's following who so that I don't have to... Okay, there's the orc base, so let's just avoid that. And we're gonna come up here. Research complete. Nope, that's also an orc base. I think, I think that this blue area is defending the... I think this blue base is defending the, the area that we're trying to get to. Look out, Griffin. Oh, he's netted. Uh, heal the Griffins, please, because they're the most valuable thing that we have. And then we'll just make sure that we keep using the, the fire rain. I think. Yep. Yeah. Okay, so let's do this. Heal up our Griffin Riders. And we're about to get stunned, but this guy should die. He's dead. Okay, so he, he may or may not drop something. I don't, oh, he's attacking now. Okay, cool. Well, that's something at least. Keep healing, and then what I'll do is rally up. Why can I not make steam tanks now? I could at the beginning, and then I researched some stuff, and they disappeared from my command card. That makes me think that we're not supposed to be able to build them, and we need access to the guy. The guy's the guy that we're trying to uh, to find. We need access to him first. Let's just keep using Rain of Fire. Can I not kill the wards? That's odd. Okay. Well, anyway, I'm pretty sure I'm pretty sure we've got this. I just need to keep rallying up units, and we'll be fine. Let's finish this up. And I'll make mortar teams, that's fine. It's just gonna take some time for all these units to make their way way up here. Oh no, my hero is still broke. I think my hero is still broken, it, it was just the other... No, no, he's he is attacking. He's, he's doing it. Let's just get some more griffins, I guess. Okay, yeah, finish up these workers. Don't let them into the burrows. And now, again, we're just waiting for a steady stream of reinforcements, which will take some time. I'm not crazy, though, right? At the beginning, I was able to, to build those. I think you're just not supposed to be able to build them, period, uh, from the beginning, is my, is my guess. A lot, lot, lot of towers in this base. I mean, they did say at the beginning that there, there were more towers in this base than he would prefer to see, so I guess that makes sense. 
Uh, let's just go ahead and pop that, and then we'll be able to Avatar eventually. Okay, let's just pick these guys up. They don't appear to be rebuilding out of this base, which is great. So let's just focus down their main structure. Uh, their hero is being rebuilt. Is he broken again? Yeah, so sometimes I, I, it's unclear to me what causes him to be broken at, at what times. Okay, blue stronghold is done. I don't care about these wolves. It's like, if you use his ability, then it seems like he may... I'm, not, I'm really not sure, to be honest. Let's just make more riflemen. I think we have every upgrade that we could possibly want. Blacksmith, yep, looking good. Uh, actually, we only need one more farm because we are capped at 100 on this map. And then let's clean this base up and get to the altar to stop this guy from, from continuing to respawn. And then let's look over to the right and see if we can get to Dougal the Mad's lab, because I would like to get those tanks. Once a respected engineer and inventor of the elite steam tank, Dougal became obsessed with synthesizing dragon fire for use as an infantry weapon. There were several accidents and further development was banned. Refusing to accept the ruling, Dougal became a recluse and a little unhinged. Perhaps with the orcish encroachment, he will join our cause. So he's not being pinged. We're only being pinged about the assault. Our forces are under attack. Uh, I guess our, our griffins that are coming in will slowly kill these things. Am I just... Cra am I crazy? Like, have your units always auto-attacked when you rally them? Or is that something specific to this campaign? Has that always happened? I'm ready and waiting. Why do I think that it hasn't always happened? Again, now I feel like I'm crazy. We should get a few more footmen just because I need, I need some front line support here. Okay, let's take our griffins and heroes and move towards the right to see if we can find Dougal. This is looking promising. No, that's just another horde symbol. Poor Malcolm, he's just gonna take take all the hits while my other units just blast through the stuff in the sky, but he's the only one that can actively be attacked. Poor guy. Okay, I could take this base, but I definitely, I don't think I need it. Yeah, and he can't heal himself. We should be a little careful, I suppose. I think Malcolm is broke again. No, no, he's he's attacking. All Father's light. Okay, why don't you just stay back a little bit here, buddy? We do need something else. Maybe something more survivability focused on Malcolm would be nice. Go for the, the level 9. Don't run away from me, you coward. Just double checking. He, of course, he can't holy light himself, but again, it's worth a, worth a shot. Add more griffins over here. Whatever this thing drops, we'll put on Malcolm. Cloak of toughness. Yeah, that's fine. It's not great, but it's fine. A lot of the items, like they're okay, but they're not. They're not, you know, great. Where the heck is Malcolm? Let's do this. Is it in the? Is it in the quest? No, that's not. That wasn't saved. I was gonna say that might, might have revealed where Let's his little this. stronghold thing is. Let's get moving. Here, you just stay back. Let's get it These on. things can attack air, can't they? Let's do this. Typically, hello. Go ahead. No, they can't. Okay, we'll just let uh, my griffins do it then. Huh? I would. I really would have thought revenants could attack air. Interesting. Okay, well, we got a solid fighting force ready to to attack into the, the, the next enemy base. Let's just get a couple more uh, clerics, just to keep this group ready to go. Or we could make sure that we have the supply in order to get more tanks. It's fine. It's fine either way. Hello? Alright. slow for a human, aren't you? 
It's, it's interesting because all the items are like middling, so it's kind of hard for me to decide, you know, what's worth picking up. Legion Doomhorn is a nice aura, so we can give that to uh, okay, no slow for a human. to this guy. I don't need the Rod of Necromancy, so let's grab the Legion Doomhorn, which is Unholy Aura. Yeah, I don't think we have anything with Unholy Aura currently. Let's get it on. Let's do this. Like, he's got to be right in here, right? This has got to be where he is. Let's do this. Unless Purple is the group that's defending him. I think Purple has its own base. I, I don't know anymore. I feel like I'm taking crazy pills. So I thought he's, they said he was to the east. Orbifrost is probably better than... The Searing... Well, it just grants fire attack. It is an orb effect. I can see it. Orbifrost is just objectively the best. That's more like it. One, well, not the best, but one of the best Let's orbs. I'm ready and waiting. Okay, where where is this clown? Is this him? Let's okay, he's way on. out here. You, you really gotta look for him. Yeah, give me those tanks, dude. Let's also get some stuff queued up so that we're at, at 100 supply. Ish. So we can go over 100 if we want. You've got a lot of nerve coming here. It's not every day you have to face down a dwarf with a gun that fires flame-tipped bullets. I've managed to get the failure rate down to 3%, which isn't bad when lugging around flammable ammunition. Damage to the unit can blow the whole cylinder sky high, though. So the question you've got to ask yourself in battle is, do I feel lucky? It's an interesting, unprompted ramble. All right. Good to see yourself keeping busy, Dougal. But any chance you'd join our fight? Well, here's the thing. Before I sign up, I need to collect 10 dragon's eyes. I feel like this is a joke. Ha! Got you going with some crazy fetch quest, didn't I? Utter nonsense. Of course I'll join you, free of charge. We just had to find him. In fact, I'll toss in these old tanks I got lying around gathering dust. Let's get moving then. Cool. Yeah, I could have come over here much earlier. There we go, and there's the over oversupply that I was looking for. And we have what now do Dougal the Mad, okay, which we should let's add to our group. Okay. He is agility. He does chaos damage. He's level 6 with no abilities. We have points that we could spend, but are not available. This could be a versioning issue. I really have no way of knowing anymore at this point. All right, let's get these tanks up there. We're just going to absolutely smash through purple. I think the implication here is that the orcs are dug in here because this is this is basically where they decided to run to. And it's basically just a bunch of old and infirmed folk and children. And so we're just going to, well, now we're just going to murder them. And again, it was, you know, an interesting theme for a while, but I think it's just clear, like, the author likes orcs, which is fine. Like, that's that's a that's a good enough reason, I think, to make a campaign that makes the orcs seem... Why, why is there a beacon here? Makes the orcs seem, uh, you know, more interesting, I suppose. I may be able to just snipe a lot of this stuff exclusively with my heroes. Kind of curious what this beacon's going to be. It's got to be for something. Maybe something later. I'm not sure. Uh, okay, just go. And then let's just run in with everyone else and kind of hit them from another side. And as they flood in towards my heroes, I can use my call downs. By call downs, I mean uh, this spell. Which is essentially Blizzard slash Reign of Fire, but it's cooler. It's cooler looking, and that's all that matters. Let's go to Avatar. And like the poor orcs, like they're not really putting up much of a fight, and I don't think they're supposed to. I think the whole idea is where we're killing, we're killing them, and they're not, they're not actively putting up much of a fight. Let's get our, our flyers down here. This clown is this the same guy? I think he just has a slightly different name. Trying to say all trolls look alike, Jay Barino. Uh, yes, it's a video game, and uh, in Warcraft 3, you can only have so many variations. Yeah, that is a lot of towers. Let's keep it up. I like how you can have these tanks that act actively attack uh, normal units and not just air, not just um, air units or buildings. To what? Just concentrated, focused fire, I guess, from towers. Let's just rally these up to Malcolm. 
I think we only yeah we only need to destroy the fortress, so we're done. Okay, you're slow for a human, aren't you? I cannot understand it. Where do they all go? Maybe it was a diversion. Where did who go, sir? The main orcish column, lad. The wounded, the peons, the elderly, the wives and youngsters. They're not here. All we saw were fighting troops, and damn few of them. What's more, they seem to be led by ice trolls. Where the hell were their high command? Where the hell was that devil Malachi? Take heart, sir. We did manage to find this coded message from the ruins. Good work, lad. I'll have to let Dougal take a look at this when we have the chance. Forces are under attack. When when Dougal is not dead, you mean? Let's get to fighting. Dougal is now studying the encoded message. Give me that coded note. If you're reading this message, then we've already made a clean getaway. If Matthias wishes to meet our war chief, he must do so alone. Malachi will be waiting two days' ride north of here at a clearing in Elwell, Earwell Forest. Fondest regards, Dells and Rotters. Oh, the goblins. A cunning foe, this Malachi. We better tell old Matthias when he gets here. Maybe that's what the beacon is. Nope, never mind. That's the end. Interesting. Okay. Interesting secret chapter. I want, like, why is this a secret level? And it seems like this, this level wanted to do some interesting stuff, but either... I, I'm gonna assume it's the versioning issue, right? So I take responsibility. When you see, we like, weird stuff, I just assume that it's because I'm on a, a version that this was not meant to be played on. Though I don't know, again, what is a versioning issue and what is a map issue. Like, I think maybe the hero issue when we got Dougal was a versioning issue. But I think a lot of the items doing weird things and not what they claim to actually do, uh, that's a map issue. That's what I think. All right, so we're going to head into Shadow of the Reaper next time, which may or may not be the last mission. I'm not 100% sure. There's either one or two left, and we'll find out. All right, thanks so much for watching, everybody, and I'll see you then. Bye-bye.